In fact, the tax cuts of today did exactly what the tax cuts of the early 1980s did under Ronald Reagan. They have expanded the tax base, meaning new workers are being brought into the labor market, meaning more revenue to the United States Treasury. That's the good news. The bad news is the government is spending every penny of those tax dollars and then some. Joining me now from Dallas, Texas, co-founder and chief strategist of GDP Advisors, Seth Denson. Seth, it kills me. It absolutely kills me when I hear people go on television and they say, well, uh, these tax cuts are producing deficits. That's not what's happening. There's more revenue going to the United States Treasury ever in the history of this country, in the history of the world. Washington, D.C. doesn't have a revenue problem. Washington, D.C. has a spending problem. You're exactly right, Graham. That's the problem. Listen, let's be very clear. The president does not control the budget. Congress does. And the last time the president tried to push to stay within a budget, well, the Democratic-led Congress shut down uh, D.C. and the federal government for 35 days. Yep. And so now we're looking, unfortunately, we're looking at a, a deficit for this year. This is horrible. Of, of $1 trillion. And by the way, the fiscal year isn't over with yet. We've got a couple, three weeks uh, left, but we can't keep running deficits uh, of a trillion dollars a year. And one of the reasons why is, you know, we're staring at a now near $23 trillion national debt, is the interest on the debt. We have low interest rates now, Seth, but at some point, at some point, they're going to go up. Yeah, we, we can barely uh, handle the, the, the interest service alone with, with the spending that we have going on right now. Listen, everyday Americans have to live within a budget. They have to understand their means and, and, and not spend more than they make. And as a, as a fiscal conservative, it, it, it pains me to see what is going on out of Washington about how we can't get our spending habits under control and do what's right for the American public. The Washington Post and other mainstream media outlets are out there doing their best to propagandize the American people. It's unbelievable. I mean, Heimlich Himmler would be proud of what's going on with these publications right now, using the R word. I will not use the R word on this. You can say it. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to be part of the problem. Uh, they're pandering for an economic downturn, and there's, there's more pablum out there today. Now, some phony poll that's talking about the American people now bracing for the R word. Yeah, that's exactly right. We've talked about it a number of times. It seems like uh, the, the, the national media uh, the, is, is hinging on anything that they can point to to say that, that the economy is headed towards a, a direction that we all know that it's really not. It may be slowing down a little bit, uh, but that's a natural ebb and flow of economy. We're nowhere near that R word, and uh, I, I wish that we would stop even trying to go there in the national media. And even the news today, you know, there's uh, fewer job openings. Okay, fine. That's fine. We're at full employment. <laughs> you know, you, you, the, it, the unemployment rate can't be any lower than, than what it is right now. The economic news is good. It's just that the mainstream media doesn't want to report it. Seth, thanks.